All right, everyone. This is just a really cool scene that happens in the trailer, so I kind of want to replicate it with this set. You know, when the Quetzalcoatlus hit. Uh, if you've seen the TV spot for it, it actually flies from the sides, grabs it, and uh, boom into the thing, and then slides on back where it goes. And then obviously, I think I believe it goes raw. Obviously, something like that. But um, this is just awesome, and. I want to compare this thing, because let's flatten out the wings, so you can do that. It's got really good movements with the wings. Now, if we... So basically, you get it in this position, right? Which is what I love to do with a lot of my Pteranodons. Unless I've got them uh, flying off like a perch or something. But uh, this is really massive compared to the Pteranodon. I believe in the prologue... The Pteranodons were really small, especially compared to the Quetzalcoatlus. I don't know if they'll be bigger in present day, but uh, yeah, this is Pteranodon compared to Quetzalcoatlus right here. And then, uh, what's even crazier, right? Say we get a T-Rex, and, and we'll get Indominus Rex too, just for the full comparison. Uh, we have T-Rex standing up fully, can't go back any further, not really, but even if you try to, Quetzalcoatlus is kind of taller than the T-Rex. So this is the new tallest uh, Lego animal, I guess. Besides uh, the buildable D2C T-Rex that is uh, <laughs> that would easily dwarf the Quetzalcoatlus. But uh, this is very awesome. Let's uh, bring in one of the Indominus Rexes. They're both the same, besides the arms and the colour. But... Uh, yeah, you can see. Quetzalcoatlus still tops the Indominus Rex. So, not even these uh, beasts can uh, <laughs> compare to the Quetzalcoatlus. I don't think it'll be that big in the movie. It could be. But uh, the size on the box of Quetzalcoatlus says it is... 5 meters tall and 9 meters long, but uh, if we get T-Rex's box right, and we flip it on the back, the size for this guy is 5.2 meters, so it's 0.2 meters taller than the Quetzalcoatlus, but the Giganotosaurus is apparently 4.5 meters tall, so that would mean Quetzalcoatlus is taller than Giganotosaurus in the movie, but uh, I've heard Therizinosaurus is 5 meters tall, so they'll be about the same size. It would be really cool if in the final battle we could just get Quetzalcoatlus to just join in and there'll be 4, but the rumors I'm hearing are that there's only going to be 3 creatures in that final battle for Jurassic World Dominion, which is still cool because the creatures in it are awesome, but uh, it would just be awesome if they include every massive creature. <laughs> Besides Mosasaurus, I don't know how Mosasaurus would get into the final fight. They could somehow pull it in. I saw there was a river near Bison. But, uh, compared to the plane, Quetzalcoatlus is definitely massive. Now, you guys probably want to see, uh, more of the plane. So, we've got, uh, oh, that's a bit sus. Let's, uh, move them out of that position. But, uh, that's really the only position you can fit them in if you want them both to go in there. So we've got Claire once again and Owen for the five billionth time in a set. Love to see Owen, even though it's the 2018 uh, skin. But uh, here's my first minifigure of Kayla until I get my hands on the Giga set, which has just showed up in stores. So I will be going on the weekend to get my hands on the Giga and Therizinosaurus set. And that will be a review after I review the junior sets. So. Here is Kayla, Claire, and Owen. And now this, you can open it up, and you can even open up this part too, so it's very interesting. Now, there's an extra little build that comes alongside it. I'm not really sure what it is, kind of like a toolkit. It's like a fire hydrant, uh, not hydrant, the fire thing, you know, that you put out fires with. Uh, 
and then the tools and the torch. It's very interesting. You can just slide that along. So I believe this is meant to be like a cargo plane because I hear Kayla is like a cargo pilot. Wish there was a, a cargo plane in uh, season four, which would be interesting if Kayla kind of worked for Manticorp. But uh, on the side, I've been wondering this, what it said. It's not really that important. It just says Midnight Euler. So, and a girl, like a random female Lego avatar. Now in here, I've kind of got the steering wheel, I guess, or what, whatever it's called on the plane. And then you've got like the fuel and stuff. I don't know, I'm not a plane genius, all right. But uh, you got really massive propellers that turn around. How interesting is that propellers that turn around? Um, <laughs> but this is really cool on the back. Kind of just, and then it connects together. This is one of the first planes besides the junior small little blue plane we got in the, I believe it was 2021 line actually. But uh, yeah, so. Can the characters fit in Quetzalcoatlus's mouth? I believe they easily would. There goes Owen. And yeah, by Owen, even though he's right here. But I think this is very, very awesome. I love to get our new Lego molds. And this Quetzalcoatlus one is definitely one of the most unique out of all the new ones. I would say it is the most unique. Uh, because Giga has a Indominus Rex head and T-Rex arms, but it has a different back, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the Pyraptor and Atrociraptor is kind of similar to the Dolophosaurus mold, and Coelophyces. We'll compare all those in a video when we get the Pyraptor set, which should be about April 17th, I think. And, um, Therizinosaurus, which is like Indoraptor kind of mold, except with like a Gallimimus type of head, but uh, bigger, I would assume. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for this set review. What do you think of Quetzalcoatlus and the crew? And Quetzalcoatlus just being bigger than uh, the Indominus Rex, that's just insane. But I am a big fan of this plane. Uh, I'd love to get my hands on Pyroraptor because then you can uh, copy the scene from the trailer because. The plane does crash down into that ice field, and in that or ice lake is where the Pyraptor is. So you can kind of replicate that with the plane crashed in there. And then Owen and Kayla, you can have like a little diorama of it all. And um, maybe Quetzalcoatlus up above. So you have like the Malta sets, those two together. Then you could combine this with like the Pyraptor. And then Biosyn, Forest, I don't know what you would want to combine that with. Uh, and then you've got this snow, snow environment with uh, a blue set. But yeah, this is really cool. Big fan, as I said. Love the new mold. And yeah, that'll have to be about it for now. I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Ah.